Hello again, humans. It is I, Jim the Ape. And in my last response video, I mentioned an individual who has been nicknamed Black Hitler. I'm not sure if this person is a YouTuber, since I can't be bothered to look for his channel, and I don't know what to call him other than the aforementioned moniker that I'm sure he would protest, but I decided to respond to a video he made anyway. I wish I could say that it was because of an outpouring of fans requesting that I do a video on him after I mentioned him in my previous response, but unfortunately I'm not quite at the fan request stage of popularity yet. So this is all me. Also, like with the response to the tea drinking feminist, I took this video from someone else's response. In this case, it was Gary Orsom, and it wasn't because the original video was nowhere to be found, per se, but I didn't even want to give this guy the effort of going to look for it, much less give him the view count. So the original video won't be linked in the description, just Gary Orsom's response to it. So yeah, I preferred taking an extra hour or two editing Mr. Orsom's responses out, and then inserting a counter for every time a certain word is uttered. You'll see. Let's begin, shall we? Agave nectar to you too, Black Hitler. So, I was just chilling outside by the sun, because I can do that because I'm black. Yeah, everyone can stand out in the sun if they want to. That's not an exclusively black right. But of course you're referring to sunburn. In which case, I invite you to spend all the time you'd like under our decaying ozone being pelted by UV rays. And just see how long you can last before you develop melanoma. And then white Jesus came to you. White Jesus was like, God, I said, what white Jesus? Okay, at this point, it either sounds like this is going to be a theist video, or a story about a romance between you and a voice in your head. Now, I know this is just a made-up story to break the ice, but for the record, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in the divinity of Jesus, no matter what color you say his skin was. And he was like, you need to train male Saxons. I said, why, why, Jesus? He was like, because just like dogs, they need training. Hmm. A racist, a sexist, and arguably an advocate for slavery. Yeah, that sounds like a version of Jesus I'd want to worship. If I was insane... I said, okay, I'll do it. And then as you held your throat and your mouth open wide, Jesus came to you. So now I'm going to show you these well-trained male Saxons, toilet seat complexion individuals, okay? Yeah, Gary Orsom already pointed out that most white people's actual skin color bears less resemblance to a toilet seat than your complexion bears to what mostly solid matter goes into one. So, whenever you refer to my pet human, and anyone with a similar skin color as toilet seat complexion individuals, just know that I will be thinking of you, and only you, as a shit-skinned person. Also, a note to my audience. When he says, well-trained, he means self-flagellating brainwashed idiots who buy into his cult of inherited victimhood. Disciples of white Jesus, okay? Still an atheist. In fact, I'm even more of one after this abomination of a video was allowed to come into existence. So let's talk to them real quick and let's see what they have to say. Uhuru? Uhuru. There it is. Get used to that word, folks, because you're going to be hearing a lot of it in this video. If any of you have seen Captain America Civil War, and you remember the series of words that allowed Hydra to control Bucky's mind and send him on missions for them, basically, that's the word that from now on will have a similar effect on me, instead sending me into a murderous rampage of unfettered violence and anger. Also, I don't know what the chief communications officer of the Starship Enterprise has to do with this, other than the fact that she was black. Wait, do you worship her as a goddess? Do you owe reparations? Absolutely. I disagree. I don't think you owe this Dennis Rodman meets Richard Simmons Saturday morning cartoon villain anything. But if you truly believe you do, ask him how much you would have to pay him for him to stop trying to guilt trip money out of white people who are as dumb as you seem to be. In your brief appearance in this video, that is. Why you say that? Wait, who is you? 
Beryl Shepley. Uhuru Beryl. Wait, your name is Beryl? Okay, forget about the poor grammar from Chuckles the Clown for a minute. You are literally named after the objects that my pixelated ape counterpart would throw at the douchebag plumber who was trying to break into his house and steal his woman. And yet he got painted as the villain. But what does that make you if you're the barrel? Oh shit, I'm literally objectifying you. Now, you owe me some money. Mm -hmm. Okay, you owe me reparations. Absolutely. Why is that? Because every freedom that I have and have taken for granted for my entire life has been made possible by wealth that my ancestors stole. And here is the major flaw in this thinking. The sins of the father pass to the son, generation to generation. Because fuck personal responsibility for your actions and your actions alone. No, you are responsible for shit your ancestors did long before you were even a single sperm cell in your father's nutsack. Even people who aren't your direct ancestors, if they share your basic level of skin pigmentation, you personally have to pay for their crimes, real or perceived. It's because of bullshit, guilt-tripping scam artists like this that almost make me think that teaching history might be a bad idea. Not because we can't learn from the mistakes of the past, I think we can, but because there are people who will use those mistakes to justify new ones for the sake of their own personal benefit. Uhuru. Mm -hmm. Good. Uhuru. Uhuru. What your name is? Jackson. Uhuru Jackson, you owe me reparations. I do. Why that? Because I have benefited from the wealth that was stolen from mm -hmm. you, Tell as it. have all my ancestors. Wait. Your ancestors have benefited from wealth that was stolen from the babbling cunt muffin who made this video? How is that possible when he wasn't even born yet? Or perhaps are you referring to all black people, as though they are a collective? As if addressing one black person and talking about all black people are one and the same thing. I think you are. It's the same thing you're doing to white people when you say that they all owe a debt for what their long dead ancestors did hundreds of years ago. Apply that logic in any other scenario and you might just begin to understand how crazy you sound. Um, the ones who owned slaves and the ones who did not, the Jews in, uh, the white Jews in Hungary. Every you better tell on the white Jews. Say that again. The white Jews in Hungary. The fake Jews. Yes, fake white Jews. Mm -hmm. Fake white Jews. No true Jew fallacy. Also, to summarize something Gary Orsom did a great job of explaining, the very word slave comes from the Slavic people who were white people who were at one point enslaved by Muslims. I have a funny feeling that the people in this video would defend Muslims, as the far left often tries to do, claiming Islamophobia for even daring to connect the religion with the violent acts of extremism that are motivated by it. But I won't presume to know that for sure. The point is, just because slavery brings thoughts to mind of black people picking cotton in early America, doesn't mean that slavery is exclusively white people owning black slaves. Just like rape and domestic violence are not always perpetrated by men towards female victims, slavery is a racially neutral concept. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you unite with reparations? Completely. Uhuru. Uhuru. What's your name is again? Jackson. Uhuru Jackson. Uhuru. Uhuru. What's up, Uhuru? Yep, you heard him, y'all. He said Uhuru. Uhuru. <laughs> Uhuru. Where you from? Seattle. Mm-hmm. He raised around all nothing but, but African people, y'all. In Seattle? I fucking doubt it. Unless you just mean black people, because there are quite a few of those in Seattle. But they're not African natives, at least not most of them. And most of them have probably never even been to Africa a day in their lives. But whatever, let's just see what this wrong-skinned EL fudge cookie has to say. So he don't know nothing about being white, he don't like white people, ain't that right? <laughs> All white people owe reparations though. Absolutely. Notice how he didn't answer the question about not liking white people. And as far as I can tell, there was no edit, so he went straight to, they owe reparations. As if to say, yeah, I don't like white people because of the color of their skin and because of what their ancestors did, but fuck you, whitey, give us money. 
At which point, I would remind you of two things, Mr. Dolezal. One, you're white too. And two, hating someone on the basis of their skin color, even if it's white, is called fucking racism. Absolutely. Ain't that right? That's true. And what your name is? Prince. Uhuru Prince? Uhuru. Prince is dead. You piss on his grave by even daring to call yourself that. You racist piece of shit. Now, why are you up for reparations? Because as a white person, I sit on the pedestal of colonialism and mm. slavery that built not only the wealth of this country, but the whole European world. Therefore, all white people owe reparations, and we're coming to get it. Uhuru, you better tell it. Yeah, we're coming to get it. Hi, I'm a white person, and I don't owe you or your flamboyant cohort Jack Diddley shit. So, you all can go fuck yourselves, and if you come to get what you think I owe you, expect to be greeted by a 600 pound talking gorilla who doesn't play well with humans. On a serious note, I would call the cops on you in a heartbeat, and I'm pretty sure that they don't recognize your claim to reparations as something that you're legally entitled to. Back to you, ape! Thanks for another riveting cameo in my videos, human. What the fuck do I keep you around for again? Uhuru. 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 What your name is? Jesse. Jesse, you owe me reparations. Correct. And I want it. When do I want it? Now. When do I want it? Now. And you gonna get it for me? Yes, indeed. Look. If you self-loathing Caucasians really believe in this shit, just pay the jackass on camera and be done with it. I mean, you shouldn't have to, but it's your money. You have every right to throw it away on some pointless cause, paying an entitled fuckwit for crimes committed by someone who has been dead for more than twice the amount of time you've been alive, and perpetrated against someone who very clearly wasn't the aforementioned fuckwit. So yeah, it's a free country now. Do whatever you want. I'm just trying to help you understand how stupid you are currently acting. All right, why your reparations? Because every opportunity and amenity I have uh, has been at the expense of my black and brown brothers and sisters around the world. Including the self-righteous imp you happen to be speaking to in this video? Because he seems to be doing okay for himself, despite having his hand outstretched and his shit-eating grin on his face. And what about Barack Obama, President of the United States? Do your opportunities come at his expense? Because I can't think of a higher position that a person could have. What about Oprah Winfrey? Did you take any opportunities away from her? I don't think so. Here's a crazy idea, just a thought. If you go in for a job interview and you get the job, do you ever consider for a minute that maybe you got the job because you were the most qualified and not, oh, I don't know, because of some white supremacist hierarchy designed to oppress people of color and elevate paleness? No, I'm pretty sure you can't see anything beyond skin-deep identity politics and race baiting. They, uh, everything in this country is soaked, saturated with the blood of slavery. Yeah, because we killed it in 1864 with the 13th Amendment of the Constitution. I figured since you're attributing all the bad things white people have done to every single white person, I'll go ahead and speak for my pasty pet human and take credit for all the good things as well. You're welcome. Mm. Genocide. Even the, the times that I've had to scrape for dollars in my life, they still bared the face of the slave master. Genocidal maniac. Well, the people pictured on American currency are there because they helped the early formation of this country. Most are presidents, or are at least considered founding fathers. It has nothing to do with whether or not they owned slaves, which was morally wrong, of course, but considered normal in that time period. But it has everything to do with what they achieved. Ben Franklin may have been a bit of a porker, but he invented things, discovered things, and was instrumental in early American history. These are flawed men, but that doesn't mean they were worthless. In fact, Franklin's worth about a hundred dollars. And I know full well that even the homeless white man on the street corner is gonna, get more, he's gonna get more head nods and ham sandwiches than the black men across mm. the street. Anecdotal evidence is anecdotal. 
Either that, or it's just a broad assertion. In which case, evidence please. So, every white person, no matter how little you got or think you got, you owe money. Hear that, homeless white man on the street corner? You owe reparations to black people! So before you take what little money you've accumulated panhandling on the street and try to buy yourself a warm meal so you don't have to go dumpster diving tonight, before you do that, go find this flaming dickbag that made this piece of shit video and give it all to him. After all, you owe him because of what your ancestors did. I can't fucking believe that this level of childish, selfish, bigoted stupidity is even real. I owe money. Then pay the shit-skinned racist cock gobbler and be done with it! And like my brother Prince said, like my comrade Prince said, if you don't give it, we're gonna come take it. to take it. That's called robbery. And if you do that, you'll be thrown in jail with a seven-foot-tall black man for a cellmate. And then we'll see what kind of reparations you'll be paying him. Uh-huh, and I've seen Prince taken. Whoa, I do not need to know what goes on in your personal lives. We by a church across the street, and Prince ran up on this old white man. What you say up to the old white man coming out the church? I asked if you want to hear the gospel of reparations. Take it from an atheist. No one likes to be preached at unless, on some level, they already believe. Hey! Holy shit, it's Pee Wee Herman! Uhuru? Uhuru. What your name is? Virginia. Who Virginia? Are you look good in this sun, Virginia? <laughs> you always look good. Thank you! <laughs> now you gotta hurry up because you gotta get out the okay, sun, girl. You ain't got no sunscreen, girl. We gotta save your skin. Hurry up, girl. Hurry up. Okay. You know the sun don't like you, girl. Come on now. Do not let her motherly appearance or that pathetic attempt at comedy relief fool you, folks. She is just as batshit brainwashed retarded as the rest of them. Just listen to what she says. Yeah. Okay, every white person does owe reparations, and that is because we owe that money uh, for the colonial oppression uh, that our ancestors have, you know, done to African people, and it continues to this day right here in the U.S., mm. not just all over the world, but here in the U.S. Did you hear that? Colonial oppression of African people still happens in the United States in the current year. Yeah. Hate to break it to you, Aunt Sally, but the fact is, slavery was abolished over a century and a half ago. Also, I believe it was Africans who sold their own people into slavery to the English, because they were greedy and they didn't actually care about their fellow man. Remind you of anyone? So all white people, no matter who you are, you do owe reparations, you owe them right now. Oh. So I guess you'll be taking money out of your kid's college fund. Fuck them, they're all white privileged shitlords anyway, right? And you'll be taking out another mortgage on your house, and you'll be taking a loan out from the bank, and you'll be working double shifts, all to pay this tremendous debt that you owe black people simply for existing without melanin in your skin. Am I right? Or are you just going to keep telling other white people that they are responsible for seeing to it that completely unoppressed black people in the first world get money for nothing and chicks for free? Because that would put them in... dire straits. Alright, enough with the cheesy jokes. Let's get through this. And you need to pay them right now. Yes. And you can go to uhurusolidarity.org and click on the button that says pay reparations. That's what you need to do. You need to do it now. You need to stop telling other people what they need to do. And while you're at it, I think you should probably stop hanging around with black supremacists that demand money from you for shit that you had absolutely nothing to do with. I have a feeling you'd be a nice old lady if not for this ideological bullshit you're spouting. I use the words nice and old as relative terms, of course. Uhuru! Uhuru! Say one more thing. Yes, you might see them t-shirts real quick. Mm -hmm. Black power. <sighs> I hate to even bring this up, but how do you suppose you would react to a shirt that said black people in solidarity with white power? Yeah, I don't like either one, and I can explain why. 
It's because I don't think you should be proud, nor should you be ashamed, of something that was completely and utterly beyond your control. The same goes for gender, sexual orientation, race, nationality, hair color, eye color, whatever. Now, if there's a disparity in human rights based on one of those criteria, then by all means, fight for the rights you're being unjustly denied. But being proud of yourself as though you've accomplished something simply by existing is foolish and narcissistic. Similarly, being ashamed of what you were born as, or feeling as though you need to make up for the transgressions of your predecessors, is a masochistic and unnecessarily self-destructive way to see yourself. Hey, just like the chairman says, uh, Chairman who? They might Chairman not know Omali which one. Tella, the yes. African People's Socialist Party and the African Socialist International. Because National Socialism has never been a bad thing, right? Right? Mm. A lot of white people will say they don't want to pay reparations because they ain't have nothing to do with slavery. It happened so long ago. It's not just that they don't want to. It's more that they don't have to pay reparations because they had nothing to do with it. The people who were involved on both sides of the equation are fucking dead. They've been dead for like at least a hundred years. Not a single white person alive today ever owned a slave. And not a single black person alive today was ever a slave. No matter how convincing that Steve McQueen movie is. But what we have to understand is we are the inheritors of the social wealth that was created by slavery. So it's more of the same sins of the father bullshit. Tell you what, if inheriting all that social wealth is too much for you, give it all away. Give all your worldly possessions to the spoiled cunt rag you're supporting in this video, as if he deserves it, the little shit, and go live out in the woods somewhere. Hell, you might even run into me, and then we'll see who owes whom, and whether man can truly win in unarmed combat with a 600 pound angry gorilla. And African people and other colonized people are the inheritors of the, self, the social despair and the social poverty. Just what the fuck is social poverty? I think it's just poverty, dude. And like I said in my response to Milo Stewart, I think there are a number of factors that may contribute to whatever correlation there is between black people and poverty. And I think that's a complex issue worth discussing. But I don't think the answer is, black people are poor and slavery happened, so pay up, white people. That's just retarded. That is the legacy of slavery. Uh -huh. And that is the power of African internationalism, turning cave beasts. Cave beasts? You fucking racist! Okay, so you have no problem calling white people cave beasts by default until you can indoctrinate them to your cause. I would love to give you a taste of your own medicine, but I'm not a racist like you are, so I'll have to give you a concentrated dose. Until you release a video apologizing for the shit you've said in this video, and tell all your followers that I'm right about everything I've said in rebuttal, I will refer to you, and only you, as a jungle savage. Now, I know full well that that's never going to happen. People like this can never admit when they're wrong, even when demonstrated to be wrong. I'm just using a rhetorical device to show how bigoted this fucking racist piece of shit is with his shit colored skin and his shitty attitude towards white people. If he was a superhero, I would name him the Brown Butt Plug. Into revolutionaries for African people. Black people, you mean. That's not the same thing. After all, I know there are South Africans who are white, and I know that there are black people who do not come from Africa. I can guess which one of those two groups you are more likely to consider your comrades. Uhuru? 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 Listen to the way they chant that shit. It's like a fucking cult. And just like all the other cults, I mean religions, they're asking for your donation to the collection plate. Only, I think they're being a bit more aggressive about it. Like, a lot more aggressive. Uhuru, so you heard it here. If you are ready, if you are white, 
Mayo Saxon. Okay, totally sick complexion individual, salting American. If you're a shit-skinned black supremacist male flamer with a clown hairdo and a voice like Al Sharpton on helium. And you're ready to join the revolution, where can you go? You can go to uhurusolidarity.org and click on the red button that says pay reparations. To quote Tommy Lee Jones from Men in Black, whatever you do, do not push the red button. I'd play a clip, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, that's the last part of the video that Gary Orsom used in his response. So I can only hope that that was the end of their video. How about instead of going to their shitty website and supporting their bullshit, you support me instead? You can do that by liking this video, sharing it with your friends and family, and subscribing to my channel. And the best part is, all of those options are free. If you really, really want to give me money, I don't know why you would. You can let me know in the comments as I've been considering opening a Patreon for my channel. I figure it's not such a bad idea as it's completely voluntary and it doesn't foist ads upon those of you who don't use Adblock. So if enough people ask for it, maybe I'll do that. But that's all for me. I need a Tylenol and some sleep after that piece of shit. I'll catch you next time. Stay great, apes.